Here are some simple rice cooker instructions to make the most of this wonderful, time-saving appliance. A rice cooker saves a lot of time while preparing rice. You don't have to keep a constant watch over rice, plus you are saved the trouble of reheating it as it has a function that keeps it warm, or warms the it just before you need it. Simply put, cooking rice in a rice cooker makes life much simpler. A lot of people are unaware about how to use this appliance. Here, we bring to you simple instructions that will help you use this appliance with ease. Basic Instructions Using a rice cooker is not rocket science. It just requires the knowledge of very basic instructions that usually accompany the unit you have purchased. Always try to use the measuring cups that have been provided with your rice cooker for best results. Start by measuring the amount of rice you need to cook. Usually one cup of uncooked rice yields almost two and a half to three cups of cooked rice. The measuring cup that is available with the rice cooker is not the standard measuring cup. One U.S. measuring cup equals three quarters measuring cup with the cooker. Adjust the measurements as per your requirements. Rinse the rice before putting it in the cooker. It should be rinsed enough so that the water that is finally drained is almost clear. This usually occurs after washing the rice thrice. Most rice cookers have a predetermined soaking time for the rice before it starts cooking. However, if yours does not, allow the white rice to soak for about 15-20 minutes before you place it in the cooker so that it cooks better. You may soak brown rice for about 30 minutes before placing it in the cooker. Measure the required amount of water that you need for cooking. The water should be cool. The amount of water required depends on the type of rice you are cooking. For instance, if you are cooking brown rice, you will need about 2 1 quarter cups of water per cup of long grain brown rice. For regular white rice, you can use about 1 1 half cups of water per cup of rice. Before you place the pot in the rice cooker, you may add in salt, butter or oil. Just a little as too much can cause the rice to remain undercooked as per your choice and requirement. Ensure that your pot is dry from the outside and place it in the rice cooker. Cover it and switch it on. The cooker will automatically switch off once the rice is ready. While the rice is cooking, don't fiddle with it. Don't open the lid or try to stir the rice while it is cooking. This will delay the entire procedure, and will affect the actual time required to cook the rice. About 10-15 minutes after the rice has cooked, open the lid. Some rice cookers have a warming function, that keeps the rice warm until you unplug the cooker. Stir the rice if required. It is now ready to eat. Rice cookers nowadays come with settings to cook different varieties of rice, so using they should not be difficult at all. Using a rice cooker and steamer. Steaming is a great way of preserving nutrients that are otherwise destroyed in the process of cooking. A rice cooker that comes with a steamer can be used not only to steam rice, but also a variety of vegetables and meat. To use the cooker without the steamer, remove the steamer tray from the cooker, and cook as per the instructions mentioned above. To use the steamer, put about 2 inches of water in the inner basket of the cooker. Then slightly grease the steamer tray with a small amount of either oil or butter. Put the required amount of rice and place it over the inner basket. Put the setting on steam, and allow it to cook until it automatically switches off. Again, just as you would use a rice cooker, allow it to rest for about 10-15 minutes after it has finished cooking. If you wish to steam vegetables or meat instead of rice, you can follow the same instructions for steaming rice. Add in some vegetables along with the rice while steaming. It makes a great meal on its own. Remember to be very cautious while handling a rice cooker. The steam that emanates from it can cause severe burns. Always wear oven mitts when removing the pot from within the cooker. Also, place it in a location that is out of reach of children. Knocking over the rice cooker can be extremely dangerous.